Hello guys, today we are going to be learning how we can transform into a gnome, how we can use socials as buffs, and how they work, and we'll be able to be showing you a few methods of how you can play as this gnome character, and we're also going to be trying it out on a few AI. Please note this does work online, so there won't be any links to the cheat engine. But if you happen to do have a cheat engine, I guess you could look at this video and learn from it. But this will be for educational purposes. Okay, so what is... How are we going to do this, okay? So let's talk about our emojis here. So as you can see here, we have all these beautiful emojis here. Now, if you didn't know, emojis are actually buffs. PVZ uses buffs as either something that can give a effect or they'll use it as a uh, like imagine a big picture appearing on the screen buffs are basically like some of them give off particles these are basically particles that appear above your head so we're gonna make it when we grab a happy face when we click on it we're gonna turn into a no yes you hear me right we're gonna turn to gnomes now let's get into our explanation section okay so we're gonna need a few tools before we start any of our explanation stuff so we're gonna need to get a calculator we're gonna need to get our chi engine we're gonna need our frosty okay these are our three things that we'll be needing we'll get into those into a second so for the explanation section let's let's really go into this okay so we just taught you what buffs are okay so what we're doing is we're going to polymorph okay polymorphing is like you transform into another character so we can like polymorph into gnome dishwasher a uh, missile kind of like how the uh, like the uh space cadet missile works you can transform into that for that temporarily amount of time also let's say we want to do our gnome instead of using our emojis here we can actually use the leveling up upgrade instead so whenever we load into like let's say if i respond and as a foot soldier when i loaded in i would have my beautiful gnome character okay so let's get to the process now how are we going to uh, tra transform? So we're going to do a thing called guild swapping. Okay, guild swapping is how we can swap abilities and other stuff. We'll get to abilities later on. But first, let's search up gnome. Okay, so you're going to want to search up gnome tag here, okay? You go you're going to want to go to gameplay. Then you're going to want to go to soldiers. Check that if that's not in there. You want to go to social hub and then you should see gnome tag. Okay, now we have a lot of stuff here. So we're going to want to find one polymorph. Buff data here. We want to double click that. See this last part here? This is the uh, gud, basically. Copy it. Now, let's grab our cheat engine. We have the cheat engine in here, and we're going to go to Array of Byte. Array of Byte, by clicking this, this will take the Array of Byte and break it down into all the data. So then we can go and uh, basically cipher through it. So let's hit first scan. Perfect. Now, depending on each time you do this, you have random amounts. But it's best if you have a little amount as it's easier to do. So let's create a new header. Let's call it No. Then we're going to hit OK. We're going to give it no address support. We're going to hit Control A once we've clicked this left once. We're going to drag it in here, group config, and hide children when deactivated. Now, when we click this, it'll basically reappear and disappear. Now, we need to go on to the next part here. How can we find the true data? Since we don't now, you see, we don't select all these and go like like strings. We don't change the value. Now we use the calculator, unless if you want to use this on a piece of paper. Although we highly advise a calculator. So we can hit new scan. Let's go to four bytes. We're going to be ciphering stuff now. Okay, so let's go to hex. So you've now unlocked all of this here. Now you're going to want to go with left click and double click. You're going to want to copy it, hit cancel, paste 6A, okay? So what you're going to do is go to 6A plus 6 equals 70. 
go 70. First scan, nothing. That means we delete record, new scan, get rid of this, double click it. We will rinse and repeat this process until we find what we are looking for. That is 90, okay? 90, first scan, nothing. New scan, <clears throat> delete this, etc. Now while I'm doing this, I'll be putting a bunch of math problems on here like some common occurrences you'll be getting like let's say if you run into AA what does that mean you're gonna be seen on the screen of all like all like the uh, kind of like the cliffhangers on there like they're confusing but they'll be explained on the screen congrats now we have collected our data here so let's go let's delete the rest of these now we have this gnome here so now we can control a drag these down put them in here okay you have to make sure all of these are the same if any of these are different you're going to want to delete the record okay the way you do that is by you would right click and you would delete record but we don't want to do that so since these are now hold on they are not in here okay good now they're in here now let's get our next part so new scan array of byte then we're going to want to grab this delete it now let's go back to our frosty editor now we're going to search up social hub social my bad it's actually wheel social wheel is the correct word i'm a silly goober Anyways, let's grab angry em uh, em emotion. So we've double clicked it right here. Now we're going to grab this guild. Okay, grab it, close it out, paste. Let's hope we get uh, not that much. Perfect. Now, let, if this doesn't work, that means this just won't be compatible and we will have to find another one. So let's hope this one works. So we're going to do that new scan four bytes boom let's do we gotta get that three a so that's gonna be three a plus six equals 40 40 and it worked perfect now we call this angry since we'll be angry if this doesn't work and no address support now control a drag it make sure all of these are the same now what do we do next so let's basically oops these are not in it. Uh, let's just make sure these are in it. So when we close this, okay, just do not work. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> so what we're going to want to do is as long as these are not the same, this will work. So you're going to want to copy it. You want to basically uh, left click on this side. Then we'll have these left, okay? So what you're going to want to do is control A and hold down control for the left click, get rid of these two. Then you're going to want to go to value. You're going to want to hit control V. Red files means they have changed. We can X out that. Let's warp home. So it'll reset it. Now let's see if it works. We're now playing as the new gnome character. Now, let me show you the sound effects. See, we have our sound effects here. He has a little shooty gun. When you're in here, you can see it, the weird weapon names, and it has a custom new screen here. Now, here's his sprinting feature. Here's his weapon primary. He has a homing primary as well. 10 damage. And he fires little bullets. So first of all, he has a bomb. This bomb is pretty accurate. It does one damage for splash and 132 on body hit and 175 on a direct hit. Next up, we have a hammer. This hammer does usually around 50 damage and knocks him up into the air. And then we have a warp. This warp is pretty large. Now let's try it. Also, AI will spawn and you cannot damage them, but they can damage you. So let's respawn. The reason why we're going to respawn is because the barrier 
will basically uh, kill us because there's an invisible barrier right there. Now we're down into the scenes. Let's go to angry invocation. Now we can kill enemies. You can use a pretty cool combo. Knock them up. Oh. Oh. Well, still kill them. We can back out of our fight here. Yep, this is the new gnome character. Now that you just learned how to successfully become a gnome. In the next video, we are going to be learning how we can swap abilities. Yes, you hear me right? We can swap abilities. And we'll be taking a deeper look into the Frosty Editor. Thank you very much and goodbye.